All right. This is the introduction to the proper Luxembourg building a nation save. After the nightmare that was Mama, I uh, took that database apart, essentially, and started building it from the ground up. Because there were so many holes. I mean, we'd only played three seasons with Mama and found two glaring, or pretty obvious, uh, problems with the database in terms of no sorting rules. And uh, what was the other one? The disciplinary uh, rules were absolutely garbage. Uh, very strict indeed. So it made the game rather un unenjoyable, and that's definitely not what ma a football manager is supposed to be. So we're back. I'll talk about what we've uh, done to the database in a second, but just to fill you in, if you didn't watch Mama, this is Luxembourg building a nation, and we're going to take a few teams, actually. I've decided uh, it's not only going to just be like uh, Titus Patange, but we'll try and uh, pick a, a few more teams from our revised uh, Luxembourg League system and make them into potential Champions League winning sides, hopefully uh, upping the level of uh, Luxembourg's legal reputation. We've also got rules in place to up the uh, national youth rating. I know that there's dynamic youth rating in this game, but it's just not enough. Uh, to uh, please me, I would love to see Luxembourg win a World Cup at some stage. So we've got rules in place behind the scenes that you, we won't get too much into that eventually will get us to a point at the end of this series where we could potentially see a World Cup lift. First off, Titus Batange in the top division. We're going to try and win the top division straight away with Titus and then build up a a really good youth system with them, and do most of the heavy lifting with this team. Then I'm thinking maybe someone like Oberkorn, who uh, I'll show in the league system uh, later, who are, you know, further on down the divisions. Maybe I'll pick uh, one of the teams in our bottom division to take all the way up uh, Winning the Champions League might be a bit of a struggle because obviously we'll have to uh, defeat Titus Patanj, but I don't think it'll be as bad as the initial uh, grind into the Euro uh, Europe European relevance, to be honest, with Titus itself. So once we have got that relevance in Europe, I'll drop, and the security that Titus Patanj will be good without me, I'll drop down the leagues, I'll build someone up, and we'll we'll fight it off. Let's fight it out with Titus Patanj to try and make two superpowers in the league. Uh, never mind what the AI want to do. And then I think it would be right for us to finish with Mama, because we tried this with Mama, and because of how you know poorly done the database was, uh, we were not able to get anywhere close to the dreams of lifting a World Cup with Luxembourg. So that's it. There's going to be a lot of development of youth and facilities and all that good stuff. There's going to be a really long uh, story. And if you're like new to the channel through Football Manager, uh, check out Rupel Boom and Vashash, what I did last year, just to get an understanding of what this series is going to be. It's going to be super chilled out. Not that much editing it is the extra channel after all. Uh, these are just added bits and bobs on top of Youth Squad Legends on the main channel. So if you want to put some background music on yourself, then go ahead, enjoy, put this maybe on your second monitor if you've got two monitors or your phone if you're just uh, hanging around. Just chill, just chill. This is going to be super chilled. So we've just taken the job at Titus Patanj. We'll run through the squad in the first episode of the Titus Patanj portion. And what we are going to do with the rest of this video is talk about what changes we did from the uh, shoddy, absolutely disgusting database that we started out with that just simply, it, it didn't have any care put into it. It didn't have any care, and that is putting it lightly. So thank you to the guy who was actually situated in Luxembourg, talking about more information in the Luxembourg League. Uh, we actually started off with a database that didn't have enough teams in it. To begin with, because the Luxembourg League has 16 teams. Now, you might be looking at the league we've got right now, this top flight, and going, 
well, you've not done any better because you've got 18, so how is that accurate? Well, I'm, I'm not actually looking for accuracy uh, because I searched on the pre-game editor, Luxembourg, and it came up with 103 results. I was like, oh, blimey, that, that's a lot of teams in Luxembourg. Uh, actually, it was 102 because there was a duplicate, so we've removed, we removed one, uh, left with 102. I was just really surprised with how many uh, teams there were in such a, a small nation. So I was like... Hmm. We could go accurate or we could go absolutely bonkers and make every single team playable. But how long would that take me? Well, it seemed like it only took me about 24 hours in the in the grand scheme of things. Yes, every single Luxembourg team I've got playable. <laughs> now that I don't I don't really want to like wax lyrical on my own work but that is taking care actual care of a project we fixed up the disciplinary rules we fixed up the league sorting rules so they won't be a problem anymore we've added awards for every league like team of the week and team of the season and player of the season and manager of the month and all that good stuff what else have we done? We've added cities to make, say, for instance, FC Copstal, who I know started out with no city detailed. But now they do say that it's situated in a place called Copstal. Uh, I've lat longed every single location what these teams are in. I've made sure, to the best of my abilities, because I don't really know much about Luxembourg, that these teams are fairly depicted. There was one particular side that didn't have a badge. I fixed that up. And then I added their kits. Found the badge on the websites. Changed the kits. That got sorted. Thankfully, we didn't need to do that much for the rest of the teams because the graphics uh, seem to be very much already there uh, through the logo pack that I use. Uh, this is Obercom, by the way. I'd love to do some kind of growth with them because I'm pretty sure whilst managing Titus Patanjan old FM save, I'm, I'm sure I had a stint with the Obercorn as well. So if I can have Obercorn, Titus Patanjan, Mama all together at the top of the uh, first division, that would please me a lot. Yeah, a, lot's, a lot of work's been done, even to the point of say the third to fifth place in the three division is relegation playoff they have a relegation playoff with the uh, 16th place in the two division uh, so that is what tier four and five in this database every at the end of every season 16th place in two division and third fourth and fifth in three division have a relegation playoff and that was chosen as one of the promotion opportunities, because Luxembourg used that in their league system. Research you put, I put research in to make sure, even though these are fantasy leagues that we've uh, developed, that still that kind of football identity that Luxembourg has is still kind of used in in here, including the the naming of the divisions. Uh, they actually do use the name this this kind of naming system. Uh, obviously, I've kept the area promotion and the BGL league the exact same, but I've completely revised one division, two division, three division, and there might be a four division in real life. But I mean, like it, it was definitely not playable in any database that I've seen. Uh, I, I will open this up. I'll give I'll give you guys uh, the opportunity to download this. I don't know if we're gonna like start the save immediately at this point i'm happy to show it off uh, but i would probably like to run a couple more tests before actually playing it just to make sure that we don't get disappointed by something that i didn't tick or just something something so glaringly obvious that i, I just missed because this was a very quick database build uh, i usually take a, a very methodical uh rebuilding and uh 
double checking of things, you know, when I'm doing something like Dare to Dream with Djibouti. This has been rapid building, and I just want to make sure that everything's fixed and ready to go before starting it off. When this video goes live, I will be confident enough. And if you want to try it out, it will be down in the description box. Also down in the description box, I don't want to really take any credit for this, will be the skin that I use. And I've just realized that the this, this page is awful. But apart from that page, I'm kind of happy with the skin that I've kind of developed. I've taken aspects of certain skins that I like and all fused them together. Uh, because there's not that many... In my personal opinion, not that many great skins about for this game. And this one just has... just It just lands right with me. Uh, hopefully, this will be the only time that I'm, I'm ever forced into a position of making a skin. Because it's so difficult and I don't really know how to... The, like, the coding side of things. It's just been blind luck, personally. So, if you want to take this skin, if you want to take the database, go on description box. Uh, hopefully, you can be excited again. For this, I think I need a bit of a break. I'm not going to lie. I'll post the first episode and then just enjoy Football Manager for a bit because I've, I've desperately wanted to enjoy video gaming uh, these last couple of days. And it, it has been ruined a little bit. It's it's a bit it's a bit nightmarish. Uh, tomorrow we've got to do you squad, <laughs> squad Legends and I'm kind of dreading it. Right. We'll get there eventually. And, you know, we're, we're, nearly, we're nearly at the point that we can... Look forward to a good Titus Patan shade and uh, start dreaming of uh, winning a World Cup with Luxembourg again. Sound. Look forward to the series. A lot of work's been put into this already. And uh, yeah, I will see you when we uh, upload Titus Patan Season 1, Episode 1. Bye-bye.